Question, 1. When stopped by a police vehicle. A. Hand the officer your license as soon as he approaches. B. Exit and place hands on top of your vehicle. C. Remain inside your vehicle. C. Remain inside your vehicle. During an enforcement stop it is important to acknowledge the officer's presence by turning on your right turn signal. Move your vehicle to the right shoulder of the road. Pull your vehicle as far off the roadway as possible and stop. Roll down your window. Limit the movements of the driver and passengers. Remain inside your vehicle unless otherwise directed by the officer. Place your hands in clear view, preferably on the steering wheel. All passengers should also keep their hands in plain view. Obtain your driver license and vehicle registration only when requested. Question 2 Unless a child is 4 feet 9 inches tall, he or she must be secured in a child passenger restraint system up to a 6 years b 4 years c 8 years c 8 years The law requires that children under 8 years old who are 4 feet 9 inches tall or taller to be properly secured with an appropriate safety belt or be buckled into a federally approved child passenger restraint system if under 8 years old and less than 4 feet 9 inches tall. Question 3 On a multi lane highway like this, the far left lane should be used for A passing b slower traffic c trucks and vehicles over 10000 pounds a passing to drive faster pass or turn left use the left lane when you choose to drive slowly or enter or turn off the road, use the right lane. If you can choose among three lanes, pick the middle lane for the smoothest driving. Question 4 When should you use your horn? A. To alert another driver who might turn in front of you and cause an accident. B. To alert a driver that signals a change of lane in front of you. C. When passing a bicycle and there is not enough room to change lane. A. To alert another driver who might turn in front of you and cause an accident. You may tap your horn to alert another driver who might turn in front of you and cause a collision. Don't honk simply to show other drivers that they have made a mistake. Your honking may upset them so much that they may make more mistakes. Never honk if slowing or stopping your car will prevent a collision. It's safer to use the brakes than push the horn. Question 5 On cold, wet days, which of the following roadways is most likely to hide spots of ice? A. Roadways paved with asphalt B. Roadways on hilltops C. Roadways on bridges and overpasses C. Roadways on bridges and overpasses. On cold, wet days, shade from trees or buildings can hide spots of ice. These areas freeze first and dry out last. Bridges and overpasses also tend to freeze before the rest of the road does. 
they can also hide spots of ice. Question 6. A child must be secured in an appropriate child restraint system. A. Under the age of 8 years or less than 5 feet 6 inches tall. B. If under the age of 6 years or weighing less than 60 pounds. C. If under 8 years old and less than 4 feet 9 inches tall. C. If under 8 years old and less than 4 feet 9 inches tall. The law requires that children under 8 years old who are 4 feet 9 inches tall or taller to be properly secured with an appropriate safety belt or be buckled into a federally approved child passenger restraint system if under 8 years old and less than 4 feet 9 inches tall. Question 7 If you are being tailgated and cannot lose the tailgater, you should A. Break hard to discourage the tailgater. B. Speed up to the same speed as the tailgater. C. Pull off the road when it is safe and let the tailgater pass. C. Pull off the road when it is safe and let the tailgater pass. If you are being tailgated, be careful. Slow down gradually or merge into another lane. Tap your brakes lightly a few times to warn the tailgater you are slowing down. Remember to allow extra room ahead and brake slowly before stopping. Do not brake suddenly. Lose the tailgater as soon as you can. If this does not work, pull off the road when it is safe and let the tailgater pass. Question 8 this sign means a divided highway ahead b right lane ends c added lane b right lane ends reduction of lanes there will be fewer lanes ahead these signs are used on multi-lane highways to warn you of a reduction in the number of traffic lanes in the direction you are traveling. Be prepared to change lanes or to allow other vehicles to merge into your lane. Drivers of all vehicles may need to adjust their speed and position to avoid a collision with another vehicle. Question 9 If you see a flooded road way ahead, you should a. Grip the steering wheel firmly and keep your speed. B. Stop and immediately abandon your car. C. Find an alternate route. C. Find an alternate route. It is best to find an alternate route if you encounter a flooded roadway. It may not be possible to determine the depth of the flood by looking, it may be deep and too dangerous to cross. Question 10 What is true about flag persons in a construction zone? A. Follow their instructions only if other workers are present. B. You must always obey their instructions. C. Follow their instructions only if it is not safe to proceed. B. You must always obey their instructions. Always obey special signs or instructions from workers or flaggers in work zones. Driving carefully through work zones improves safety for drivers, pedestrians, bicyclists, and road workers.